Hey there, tech lovers! With Microsoft ending support for Windows 10 on October 14th, 2025, a lot of us are scratching our heads about what to do next. If your PC can't upgrade to Windows 11, don't worry, I've got you covered. Today, I'll walk you through five practical options to keep your tech running smoothly and safely. Let's dive right in. First up, the most straightforward option, upgrading your hardware. Windows 11 has strict requirements, including a compatible CPU, TPM 2.0 support, and secure boot capabilities. If your PC doesn't meet these, Microsoft's PC Health Check tool can show you exactly what's missing. Here's how it works. Open the Start menu, search for PC Health Check, and let it scan your system. It'll tell you if your CPU, RAM, or storage falls short. For many users, upgrading to an SSD or adding more memory can be a quick fix, and often it's not as expensive as you might think. But what if you're not comfortable upgrading yourself? Or maybe your machine is just too old for upgrades to make sense. In that case, it's time to look at a new PC. The good news is that you don't have to break the bank. Affordable, refurbished, and certified pre-owned computers are great alternatives if you're on a tight budget. These options give you the performance you need at a fraction of the cost of brand new devices. Next, let's talk about extended support. If you're not ready to move on from Windows 10 just yet, Microsoft's Extended Security Updates, or ESU, can buy you some time. For $30 a year, you'll receive critical security patches to protect your PC from new threats until 2026. Why is this a good option? Maybe you rely on specific software that doesn't run on Windows 11, or perhaps you're just not ready for a new system. ESU allows you to maintain your current setup while staying protected against vulnerabilities like malware and ransomware. However, remember this is only a temporary solution. Once the ESU program ends, you'll need to make a decision, so use this time wisely to plan your next move. Now, this one's for the risk takers. Did you know you can technically install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware? It's possible, but it's not something Microsoft recommends. When you force the upgrade, your system may miss out on critical updates, face compatibility issues, or even crash unexpectedly. That said, if you're confident in your tech skills and want to give it a try, make sure to back up all your data first. You'll also need to create a bootable USB drive with the Windows 11 installer. Keep in mind, though, that forcing an upgrade is like walking a tightrope without a safety net. It might work, but if it doesn't, you're on your own. So, approach this option with caution. Are you ready to leave Windows behind? Then consider switching to Linux. This open-source operating system is not only free, but also incredibly versatile. With user-friendly distributions like Ubuntu, Linux Mint, and Zorin OS, the days of scary command lines are long gone. Why choose Linux? For starters, it's much lighter on system resources. If you've got an older PC, Linux can make it feel like new again. It's also more secure than Windows because of its open source nature. Security experts worldwide continuously review and improve its code. Plus, Linux offers software alternatives for almost everything you need, from web browsers to office tools. And if you miss certain Windows apps, tools like Wine or virtual machines can help you run them seamlessly. Switching to Linux might take a bit of getting used to, but it's an excellent way to breathe new life into your old PC without spending a dime. Finally, let's talk about the riskiest option, ignoring the deadline. You might think, if it's not broken, why fix it? But here's the problem. Once Windows 10 support ends, you won't receive any updates, including critical security patches. That leaves your system vulnerable to malware, ransomware, and other cyber threats. If you choose this path, you'll need to take extra precautions. Install a robust antivirus program, use a secure browser, and avoid using your PC for sensitive tasks like online banking or shopping. Even with these measures, sticking with an unsupported OS is like living in a house with a broken lock. It's not worth the risk in the long run. So, while this might buy you some time, it's not a permanent solution. And there you have it. Five solid options for life after Windows 10. Whether you choose to upgrade your hardware, switch to Linux, or pay for extended support, there's a path forward for everyone. Don't let the end of Windows 10 catch you off guard. If you've got questions or other creative ideas, drop them in the comments below. And hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tech tips and tricks. Until next time, stay savvy.